Hey guys, what's up? So East Asia Soft just announced the two new games we'll be getting this month for the PlayStation Vita. Uh, we'll be able to order these on September 30th at 11 a.m. Eastern time at playasia.com and at Video Games Plus. So the two new games are, unfortunately I wish I had better ones to announce, but they are two arcade distillery games, Skull Pirates, now, if you weren't aware, this one had a Kickstarter back in 2017. Now, those Kickstarter copies haven't been fulfilled yet. Uh, in fact, the backer survey hasn't gone out yet, so I have a feeling that Kickstarter backers are probably gonna get their copies later than anyone that orders this East Asia Soft release. Now, Skull Pirates is limited to 850 copies, and that is physical only. There is no digital release. Now, of course, the reason why this looks like such a low print run is because a bunch of the copies are going to be going to Kickstarter backers. So theoretically, those people that back to Kickstarter won't need to, you won't need to be competing with them to buy from East Asia Soft. On the other hand, uh, I think a lot of these people are probably collectors like myself, and I wanna own both box variants so that's the other thing it is going to be a little bit unique the two releases we know for sure that the east asia soft version has exclusive box art i don't know if the cover art is going to be the same or if it's going to be different at this time i guess we'll just have to wait and see on that until we get more details and luke hasn't spoken out yet about this either so we're just waiting for him and east asia soft to get back to us on that but we do know for sure the box art is going to be different now the second game is going to be War Theater Blood of Winter. This one is gonna be limited to a thousand copies. So there will be a larger quantity of those to buy from coming up this Thursday. And again, this release is also physical only, no digital release on this one. Now if you liked the first War Theater, this will be pretty much like that. Another game to compare it to would be something like Advance Wars. But of course this game has that unique signature arcade distillery artwork. It's such a disturbing puppet vibe, but I tend to like things or at least appreciate things that disturb me, so it works out for me. And don't forget, we're coming up to the end of this month's trophy challenge. Uh, just to remind you, we're going for all of the trophies in Habroxia 2 and Papers, Please. So a little reminder to finish those up before the end of the month. Now, if you aren't participating this month, then perhaps next month. So stay tuned for next month's trophy challenge to see what we'll be playing in the month of October. Also, in case you missed the recent Vita updates, Pushy and Pulley just got a update patch that fixes the teamwork trophy, so that is obtainable now, and it also fixes the crashing issues that happened around World 3. Astro Aqua Kitty also got an arcade mode, so there's a whole new game mode. Be sure to download the title update for that. And of course, Hibroxy 2 got a title update recently that adds new trophies and new game modes. So yeah, be sure to check that out. Uh, but that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.